G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Just been dropped off and I've got the Helicontex Matilda backpack. And I'll be giving it a test over 20 plus kilometers plus an overnight. And I think I've picked the perfect day to be doing this. Temperature is about the 22, 24 degrees centigrade fairly cool breeze and this is the middle of the day so I've got five hours to get to shelter get set up before the sun sets Two point five kilometers in, and the Matilda backpack is holding up well. I worked it out; it's about thirteen, fourteen kilos in there, so that's about a thirty, thirty-two pound, give or take. The weight is carrying really well. Can't feel it on my shoulders yet. Can't feel it on my hips. So it's nice and snug at the moment. I began to get a bit worried then. I could feel the bottom of my back getting sore. And I thought I'd never noticed that before with the pack. It's not the pack. I couldn't find my belt to go with my hiking pants. So I just grabbed a nylon one. And the edge of that nylon belt feels sharp on my back. And it's uncomfortable, so I've had to adjust the belt down out of the way and hopefully no more rubbing off that. We're about five kilometers in and the pack's doing really well. <laughs> like I said, I got worried. But no, the pack is doing really well. My shoulders feel good, my neck feels good, my hips feel good, my back feels good. Can't feel anything from the pack. And like I said, it's around 30, 30 plus pounds in there. It's just it's like 13, 14 kilos. So, yeah, very happy with it still. And the last video I did, it was the 9.3 kilometers. Temperature wise, it was nice and cool. Bit of rain. Now, a little bit warmer today. I can feel the perspiration on my back. Nothing serious. I can feel the channel down the middle, which is meant to reduce it. And that does feel different to when my back's making contact contact with the pack so it's not as hot and clammy as if it had been a full back you can just feel that coolness down the centre so it's going really well so I've still got another 5 plus kilometres to go today we are overnighting at the shelter and then we'll be doing similar distance on the way back. I may go slightly different ways to have a look at things 
which will add up the kilometers because <coughs> I don't really have to be picked up until midday and then drops home get changed jump in my car and going to work for the afternoon or the evening so see that bit further up the track Slippy. Oh. Yeah, this little section's quite slippy. Uh, the pack is well balanced. It's not pulling me one way or the other. Combination of the pack design and how I've packed the pack. It's sitting nice in the centre very little movement but when I move it goes with me and it allows me to move on the shoulders so it's not restricting any of my movements so all the movements here if anything my shirt's restricting me more than the pack and I've been doing inclined for a lot of the way and it got a bit steeper not so long ago and we're still going up uh, like I said the pack's giving me no problem at the moment uh, excuse the knocking I just realised my walking poles were hitting the tripod I'm holding with the camera on yeah the pack's all good and as you see I've got a Valco strap here holding my walking poles when I don't use them. I've got another one on this side for holding the camera and tripod. So, very versatile pack. Ten point five kilometers. Pack was great. I still have no sores. Uh, my neck 
a little bit stiff. But I don't know if that was down to the pack or the last few weeks of having bad night's sleep. So I've had a bit of a bad neck for a while. So pack, let's say, didn't make that any worse. Comfort, most of the time I didn't realise I was wearing it. So I was just walking, I was doing my videos, I was having a look around. So, yeah, part two of this video will continue in the morning. I'm going to set up my bunk for the night. So, we'll see you in the morning when I'm doing the 10.5 kilometres back, testing the pack out. Morning. Start of another 10.5 kilometres back to the pickup point. And the pack. Still feels comfortable this morning. I had no sore shoulders or no rubbing or anything on it. So we'll see how we go for the second ten and a half kilometres. Twenty two kilometres in and the pack has worked fantastic. No problem with it at all. No stress on the shoulders, no stress on the neck, no stress on the hips. It's just sitting there just nice. Every now and then I'll check to see if any of the straps need adjusting, but I haven't had to adjust any after the first uh, kilometre. Yep, first one kilometre and it's been set the same and it hasn't slipped and it's just as comfortable as it was then that's the first kilometre this morning which was 10.5 kilometres ago <clears throat> but yeah it's it's a pack which is a, a good pack we've had a fair bit of rain this morning and everything inside is still dry even though I'm using a dry bag no rain got inside the pack very comfortable uh, I hope this uh, video has given you an idea of what the pack is like, how good it is, and if it's going to be any good for multi-days, long distance. And if you haven't subscribed, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell and select all, so you can be notified of all future videos. And click the thumbs up button, that like button. And share it with all your mates and family and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care